Hi. Now we all know a little bit about the background of C programming. So I will not waste much time into telling the history of C and too many things about it. So let's jump start with directly programming with C on your computer. Now to do that, we have to download something of a compiler and IDE. A compiler is actually the background software which will convert your program into the machine understandable code and the IDE is a nice and clean interface where you will be able to type the code, run the code and see the output. So let's get started with downloading the right compiler for C programming on your computer. Now for that sake, what I do is I choose something called as code blocks which is one of the most popular ID available for C programming. So let us search for code blocks, code blocks and uh, you will go to the home page of code blocks that is codeblocks.org and onto this website if you go to the download section then there are a number of different downloading options available. What I want you to do is go to download the binary release where you can directly download a setup file for use on your computer. So I'll go to download binary release. Here you can see all the different setups which are available. Now see the default code blocks is good for you to use but this is just an IDE. It doesn't come with a C compiler. We want a C compiler also. So we want this one code blocks. 2.20.03 up to the time you watch this video maybe uh, the version has extended a bit but just make sure that there is min gw present in it now if you have a doubt what is min gw then you can see it's a compiler package for windows you can go and look more about min gw for now just understand that you want to have this min gw setup so there are two options click one of them and the code blocks including the compiler should start downloading you can see this here it's 145 mb let's start the download as soon as the code blocks uh, ide has downloaded we will install it and we will try to create our first c program i would also like to tell you that this is particularly uh, I'm particularly omitting all the history and all the backgrounds of C programming because there is too much of uh, information and knowledge available about the background and history of C on the internet and most probably you must have seen it already. So let's wait for the download to finish and then let's get started with C programming. Now you can see the download is almost over. Download is done. So let me open the setup file and the installation should start. It may come in a different way. The downloading may come in a different way on your computer. Maybe it will directly run through the or maybe it will directly download through the uh, Chrome or your uh, browser download section. So let's click next here on the code block setup. Agree the licensed then this is everything you don't need to remove any of those options just keep as it is all plugins all tools just everything click on next let there be this default location click on next and the installation should start ideally uh, depending upon your computer speed the installation should take not more than one to five minutes at the max so let the installation be finished and once it's done, we are free to start with our programming with C. Almost done. Computer is good, right? I prefer using an i7 system for uh, the kind of work that we do, but it's not mandatory that you have that. Uh, you can use any of the uh, computer when purchasing new machine make sure that it just does your job an i5 computer is or ryzen 5 computer is enough for all the needs ideally for development purpose i would recommend not use the uh, entry level computer like core i3 or ryzen 3 uh, go on with uh, at least immediate uh, intermediary level processor like i5 or ryzen 5 which is much faster than i5 also 
Do you want to run code blocks now? Yes, of course, we want to run code blocks now. So let's see, code blocks the open source cross-platform cross IDE. Now see, when it starts or when it runs for the first time, it will ask you to check which compiler you want to use. Now depending upon whichever you have on your computer, the list would be shown. For now, just select the one which we have, set it as default and OK. Now, CodeBlocks is currently not the default application for CCC, just it doesn't matter whatever option you want to do with it. Just click OK here because we want to get started quickly. Now, I'll go to this uh, file and uh, new empty file option first. Uh, is it visible? No. Let me just first increase the, uh, increase the size or the font. So view, no, not in view, I think it should be in settings, environment or editor. And let's increase the font size in the editor. Let's make it 16, should be sufficient enough. Now let's try to type our first C program. So our C program starts with uh, some hash include. I'll explain everything in the next video. Uh, this is just a trial, so I'll just do the Hello World program in C. Save this program just using Control S to a suitable location. Let's say desktop testing.c. Now void main printf Hello World. This is just a trial that the compiler has been installed successfully on our computer and we are able to run the programs in order to understand the C codes. So that's it. You have three buttons here, build, run, and then third is build and run. You can see this button over here. So just click build and run. And we can see the hello world printed over here. A new window pops up where your output will be shown. Now, if you want a little bit of distinction, I'll just add some new lines, build and run. And you can see the hello world being printed on our computer screen. So that's how you will get started with uh, creating C programs on your computer, learning C programming on your computer. From the next video, we'll see in details about how to go ahead with C programming. Thank you.